Good evening and a big welcome live from London York Hall for tonight's professional boxing. Robert McCracken, boxing dean Cooper. Cooper from Bristol. McCracken, of course, the British light middleweight champion. With me in the commentary position, Vic Andretti, the former British light welterweight champion. And we've got Robert McCracken and Dean Cooper on their way to the ring. This is t tonight's main event, 10 rounds. There you are. And I'll give you the records. McCracken unbeaten in 20 professional fights. Cooper, here he comes. Dean Cooper, 17 fights, 16 wins, one loss. That was on a cut when he fought Kirkland Lang, the former British and European worldweight champion. Well, that's, that's no disgrace. Dean beats the Lang. And it's very interesting to note the last time a man took a major fight at 48 hours notice. Steve Robinson against Sean Davison. And look what he went on to achieve. Absolutely. And look, there's Stand nothing well. at stake here, but a win for Cooper would do him the world of good, wouldn't it? Yeah, 12 thing about Chris Senegal's Chris Senegal's fight is always in good shape. Yeah, they've, they've, I've, been, I've been talking to him earlier, and he's up for the fight. You know, he, Cooper fancies this. So, you know, it should be a little fight. Yes, he does, and it's also been made around, just below the middleweight limit, so uh, it shouldn't have a great bearing on the careers of either of them, but uh, it'd be lovely for Dean <laughs> if he were to win it. Yeah, he's... Uh... So, Robert McCracken on his way to the ring, and uh, this York Hall in Bethnal Green, not quite as heaving as the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham, the last time, of course, that McCracken was in action, was when he defended his British Championship for the first time against uh, Stevie Foster from Salford. Just checking the equipment. Ten rounds. And the cracker managed by Mickey Duff, our promoter this evening. And uh, I tell you what, when this match was first mooted, a lot of people didn't give Mick Cooper too many chances. Throughout Europe, live on Eurosport, to tonight's main event, promoted by National Promotions at the East End of London's boxing home. This is a contest of 10 three-minute rounds, a light middleweight contest between introducing in the blue corner, wearing the purple trunks from Bristol, from his 17 professional contests, he has 16 wins, two by way of KO and one loss. A welcome please for Dean Cooper! His opponent in the red corner wearing the blue trunks, he has a chatting to Robert McCracken in the dressing room earlier. He said his one plan is to get rid of this man as quickly as possible. Dean Cooper, on the other hand, he says, well, hey, this is my chance. Oh, yes, yeah, it's a good break for Cooper if he can, uh, if he can pull a winner, upset winner. Yeah, this would be a good break for him. And I personally feel that, uh, Vic, this has got some mileage in it, this one. Cooper's yeah. not a banger, and he's slippery enough and cagey enough to uh, give McCracken a lot of trouble here. Yeah, this is interesting, this is... They both cut in the past. So let's just see how this one develops. Dean Cooper possibly a bit taller than uh, Rob McCracken. And it's Cooper who's made the start. It's 
So Dean Cooper from the Chris Sanigar stable in Bristol. Out to create a good impression against the British light middleweight champion Robert McCracken. And uh, both lads getting their jabs working quite early on in this one. And these two are not weighing each other up, they just kind of work that way. They want to know time. And you've got to wonder how much that fight was Steve Foster's taken out of McCracken. It was a real tough real battle, yeah. Dean Cooper, the former Western Area Light Middleweight champion, won it, never defended it. Good double combination, good punch. And I remember Dean Cooper way back in his professional debut. He beat Russell Washer on points. about even so far in round one of a scheduled ten. And Rob McCracken, he's got one intention, that's to get rid of Dean Cooper as soon as possible. Nice left hook there from McCracken. And Cooper not at all overawed by this. Good right, good right cross over the top. And when opportunity knocks a course, you've got to grab it with both hands. And that's what Cooper's out to do here. And uh, McCracken being forced to work harder than he possibly, possibly like in this opener. Yeah, he's very cool, McCracken, he's picking his shots nice, he's not getting flustered. Good shots. Well, looks like McCracken might just be edging this opener, but uh, it's very tight, isn't it, Vic? Oh, yeah. So a very lively start then, round one. And uh, McCracken possibly nicking the opener. Although, some pretty good moments there for Dean Cooper, I felt. Bit of replay here. Bang. Lovely right hand there by uh, Dean Cooper towards the finish of round one. There he is, seconded by Dean Powell. Uh, round two coming up then. Ten rounds in front of us. Very close open. The cracker just make it, I think. Big quality. Better of quality punches coming from Kraken. Yes. There's no doubt that McCracken is the stronger of the two by far. Yeah, he's a better puncher. He's a better puncher. Bit more, a bit solid, more solid puncher. But Dean Cooper, very smart boxer, isn't he? And an anxious look to his corner there from Cooper. Good yeah, by Cooper. Well, Dean Cooper looking a wee bit timid here in the second round. I've seen him use his jab an awful lot better in the past, but uh, then again, it's not been against this kind of opponent. The one loss showing against Kirkland Lang. Quality opponent again. He's in here with a quality opponent in Robert McCracken. Having a 
There's a bit of damage around Dean Cooper's left eye. Yeah. He's, he's picking his shots, the crack and moves. He ain't wasting anything. Nice double jab for Cooper. And he hasn't got anywhere near the natural strength of the British champion. from McCracken. Well, it looks ultimately as if uh, McCracken's going to prove to be too strong for Cooper. Yeah, he's putting some good body shots together now, McCracken. He gets super him in. He's still going to take punches, though, from Cooper. And they're going to look ter tremendous, but uh, no weight behind them. So, two rounds gone, Robert McCracken looks like he's taken the pair of them. Vic, any uh, thoughts at this stage? Oh, uh, you yeah, know, it looks like the... I think he's going to do a lot of damage with this left, the left hook to the body, McCracken. He seems to uh, be lining Cooper up with it, and uh, he keeps slipping it in. It's a, it is a good punch. Yeah. And it's, that's the one you're on about. Yeah, just keep... I think he's got his measure with that one. I think he'll do a lot of damage. He seems to be putting in a will. But Cooper, you know, he had a good run there. He keeps, he keeps busy. And basically, that's what he needs to do, just throw lots and lots of punches. Absolutely. Keep on the move. He's got to keep busy. Keep so that's a, a difficult target. Yeah. Round three, then, of this ten-round main event. From McCracken in the blue and white, the British line middleweight champion here in a non-title catchweight contest with Dean Cooper. From Bristol. Oh, nice work from McCracken. He's punching hard tonight, McCracken. He's yes, he's looking pretty he's, smart, isn't he? Yeah, he's nice and sharp tonight. You've got to wonder what uh, making 11 stone to men like these two, these kind of dimensions, almost six feet tall. That McCracken, I think, over six foot. What does that do to them? Yeah. The are looking very comfortable at 10, uh, 11 6 here tonight. Yeah, well, he's actually punching. This is, this is the hardest I've seen him punch. He's really putting some heavy punches in tonight. the time when McCracken for Ensley Bingham. He uh, got dumped very heavily in the first round by a big Bingham left hook, but uh, got back and uh, ended up stopping Ensley. And that's an eliminator, in fact, for the uh, British Championship. And all the powerful punches coming in from Robert McCracken. Uh, Chris Sanigar in the Cooper corner, imploring his man to push the Kraken back, and that, of course, is not easy, is it? No, he's uh, he's counter punches. He comes in. His uh, Cooper comes in. He's picking him off with some good shots. There it goes again. Had a double left up this time. Good work. Good, good, work. good combination. And that was a cracking shot from the Kraken. That shook Cooper. 
Yeah, Cooper's could have been shaking a bit. Oh, David, Cooper comes back, back, good shot. The one over the top. Oh, and a touch of heads there, I think. So, a good round, this one. Cooper bleeding from the nose slightly. And uh, he's not going to win this round, but uh, he's got through the crunch of right of his own. Good work by the Kraken. So a crunching round there for uh, Robert McCracken, got through some lovely punches. And uh, Cooper got through with a good shot of his own, didn't he, Vic? Over the top. See some work here from McCracken in the replay. Yeah, this yeah, this, this extra weight sees the super Kraken. He's really letting some bombs go tonight. Good right to the chin. Yeah. That one rocked him badly. Yeah, he's really... But he really came back. back. Oh, he's getting a racking off his corner. Sanagar's giving it to Cooper. Uh, so round four then, and uh, Chris Sanagar there saying, come on, grit your teeth. He's got two arms and two legs just like you. But uh, as we've already seen, Vic, they carry a bit more power, don't they? Yeah. He's, uh... Oh, another good fight for McCracken. Nice sharp shot there from McCracken. I believe uh, Cooper went into the fifth round against uh, Kirkland Lang. Good work again from the Kraken. And Cooper wobbles there. Can he finish it here? Cooper gritting his teeth, trying to fight back. Good shot again from Dean. But uh, he's hurt still. And he's at all. Oh, he's going over now. He's going over Kraken. Strong for him. Good punches. Very good. So it's what's the ending again? Some good punches here from McCracken. Gunned at the finish, and uh, good performance. Uh, and I think you're right, Vic. I think the extra weight suits McCracken. Oh, I like him in his middleweight. He looks. So he looks a stage solid, on the stall. There's a totally different fight in this way. Words oh, really. Well, we might just get a word with Robert McCracken. <laughs> yes, hopefully we're going to have a word with Robert McCracken after the break, but. Uh, Let's not forget, it takes two to make a, a rousing fight, and that one lasted into the fourth round. McCracken wins fight number 21, and is 16th inside the limit. So, we're going to take a short break, and I'll be back, hopefully, in a couple of minutes with a few words with Robert McCracken. So, welcome back, then, and a chance now to speak to tonight to win in the main event, Robert McCracken. Robert, 
tough uh, opponent there, Dean Cooper. Last in the fourth round, but you just look to be so much stronger right from the first bell. Yeah, he was a good opponent. You know, 16 wins out of 17. I mean, we don't duck nobody in Britain. You know, we're learning all the time on the, in Europe and in the world. But in Britain, we'll fight anyone, as we showed. That kid had lost one fight in 17. We took him as a warm-up. You know, that should show the rest of them. Well, no, none of the shenanigans. I'm glad to say from the NEC here this evening, but. Um, Dean Cooper well supported too and I'm glad to say you brought about 50 down with you and they're all in pretty good spirits as well good win there yeah can I just say that you know a lot of that fighting was to do with people that don't normally follow me as you can see tonight these are my hardcore supporters these are the ones that travel with me they're all perfect, perfectly behaved you know and there's no problems with them sure so, so what's next on the horizon obviously you want to get your Lonsdale belt to keep outright so one more defence of your British Championship who's it likely to be against um, I'm not sure I think we've cleared them all up really they've got to come up with a new one soon but uh, I want one more notch in defend that and then we're going to see what we're going to do from there you know there's a few options open to us and, and who would you go for in a world championship contest um, I'll have a go with anyone, you know, you know, I'm not saying I'm the greatest or ever as like everyone else does, but uh, I'll box anybody, Paddy knows, I'll box anyone, you know. Right, and Paddy's still training you to uh, perfection, obviously. Yeah, Paddy and Tommy and Don, you know, they're excellent, and Mickey's managing us and that, and uh, it's all going well up, up until now, and uh, I'll just keep putting the eyes.